Once your product catalog is defined, the next step is to add license entitlements into the Solo Server database so customers can activate their software purchases. The license entitlement is stored in Solo Server, and in most cases, the customer will automatically get a local license file when they complete the activation process. The three ways to add licenses to Solo Server are through a web browser using the author administration interface, when an online order is processed by the integrated shopping cart, or by using the Solo Server web service interfaces. Your product catalog can have different types of licenses, such as non expiring, subscription, or feature based, which are defined as a product option. You will choose which product option to create a license from and can customize certain parameters in some cases. The new license will be assigned a license ID and activation password, which then needs to be provided to the customer so that they may activate. To get started, we recommend adding test licenses, which are used for internal development testing only. There is no fee for creating or activating with a test license, and they will be deleted automatically on the first day of every month. When you are evaluating Solo Server, you are limited to only adding test licenses. Once you activate your Solo Server account, you can continue adding test licenses or choose to add regular licenses that are never deleted. To demonstrate, we'll add a test license through the author interface. Use the menu Customers, Add a Test License, and then choose a product option from the list. Clicking the Add a New Test License button will prompt the notification about test licenses. And it also creates an unregistered customer record. All licenses in Solo Server must be attached to a customer record. With a license ID and activation password, you can perform a test activation to ensure the license functions as expected. If you want to add a license to an existing customer record, first use the search feature to find the customer record. Once on the customer information screen, use the Add License button in the Licenses and Other Items section. You can choose to add a test license or a prepaid license. The customer will not automatically be notified that the license was added, so you can use the Email Customer option to send them their license ID and activation password, or you can provide this information through another means. To bulk generate licenses for third-party shopping carts, distributors, retail distribution, or other purposes, you can use the menu Customers Add Multiple Licenses. This allows you to add one or more licenses to an existing customer or newly created unregistered records. For the unregistered records, you will be provided with a list of license IDs and activation passwords that you can distribute. When using Solo Server's optional integrated shopping cart, licenses are added automatically when an order is completed. A Buy Now link can be placed on your website so that the customers can purchase licenses on their own. In addition, there may be some cases where you want to process the order through the shopping cart for them, such as ordering by phone. You can start this process through the Add License button on the Customer Information page, as described earlier, and then use the Begin New Cart button. This will initiate an online order for this particular customer. Alternatively, you can use the menu Store, Create a New Order Slash Cart, to start a new online order and register a new customer or enter an existing customer's email address. If you don't want to use our integrated shopping cart and would like to automate adding licenses from another system, you can use Solo Server's web service interfaces. There are various methods available, and one example of adding a license would be to use the create customer method from the customer server web service followed by the add method from the XML license service web service. You will need to provide the license ID and activation password to the customer after it is created, since an email is not automatically sent like when using the integrated shopping cart. In summary, you can choose to add licenses to Solo Server in whichever ways best suit your needs. Using the author interface makes it easy to manually add and manage specific licenses, and the integrated shopping cart and web services can help automate the process.